Whiskey in popular culture is one of those things that everybody thinks of. You got your old wild, wild west. The number of X's is how good it is, absolutely. You got cowboys slugging shots. You have the classic Scotch connoisseur taking a glass. You know, it's funny because a really old, well-aged Scotch does actually take water really well, but you know, dilute mineral water by the drops. The epitome of connoisseurship and class. Whiskey really runs the gamut. But when we talk about whiskey in popular culture these days, you can't get away from saying the words men and or angry. Mad Men has changed the way a lot of people drink their whiskey. All of a sudden, you're making old fashions, you're making Manhattans. People are starting to drink something a little more, well, flavorful, frankly. And I love to see that. It's a pretty beautiful thing. So a lot of people are gonna make old fashions. It's a very simple spirit to make. You can use a jigger, you want two ounces of your spirit, sugar, bitters, and water to dilute. Straightforward. Two ounces of spirit, two dashes of bitters. We use Angostura, it's the classic. Easy to come by, but your old fashioned can be as simple or as complex as you want. You can use rum for your base, you can use whiskey, you can use anything you like. Stir. Always, always stir. Shaking your drink is for citrus and girls on the beach. You want a nice, smooth, elegant, well-blended cocktail. And for that, stirring with a spoon and a mixing glass is everything. You'll watch as the lines begin to rise. They're getting better and better, softer and softer. Add a few rocks, strain it off your glass. Cut a nice, healthy orange twist. Squeeze it over the top and drink like Draper. Whiskey in popular culture Everything from your cowboys, to your ad boys, to white lightning, hillbillies, and bootlegging. It's a beautiful thing. It's part of the rich American tapestry. That's a quick rundown of whiskey popular culture. Wow.